What is going on guys? This is Rare Boy bringing you a brand new series called Smash and Talk where I invite other content creators onto my channel and we, well, play Smash and Talk. Today I am joined by my good friend Drew, the 90s guy. So Drew, if you'd like to say hi to the fans out there, tell them a little bit about yourself. Hi there, I'm, my name is Drew. Um, I have a channel on the YouTube called Drew the 90s Guy. Um, I, I grew up during the 90s, and I really loved the, the time during then where we uh, played a lot of amazing games like Banjo-Kazooie, Super Mario RPG. It was just a fantastic time to be alive, and if you want to go uh, check out my channel, feel free to stop on by. Awesome. I will put a link to Drew's channel in the description as well as at the end of the video. So without further ado, I think we're going to start playing now and talk a little smash. Drew is an excellent Banjo-Kazooie main, by the way. Just putting that out there. We'll see how this goes here. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Sorry, I got a little family noise in the background there. <laughs> All right. It was part of recording. So the reason I had you on here today, Drew, is because there's a recent rumor going around about Smash DLC number 7. Some people are saying it's going to be oh, Crash yeah, Bandicoot, like... and others are saying that it's going to be Travis Touchdown. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen a few of the rumors out there, and I'm like, first of all, I mean, it, oh man, definitely shouldn't be soon, that's the one thing I will say. Um, it it's, seems like the timing is about right for, for this kind of thing to happen, because it's been just over three months now since we had the reveal, and, then, and we've had a couple of things coming around, like we have that 7-Eleven ad that's going to be... a uh, going to be done until October 4th, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I've heard a couple of different rumors as well, like Travis touchdown and things, but um, we'll, we'll just have to see, it's just going to be a few more days here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for the viewers out there who haven't seen the uh, the Twitter post about the, the 7-Eleven uh, commercial or poster, I will put it up on the screen in editing so you guys can see what we're talking about, but yeah, there is a big rumor going around about... Uh, the next Smash character, there was a rumor recently about Crash Bandicoot and the release of the fourth Crash Bandicoot game coming to the Switch, which I think would be amazing. Oh yeah, that would be, I mean, Banjo would, I mean, uh, Crash Bandicoot would be an excellent player to bring to the roster. That's and funny. oh man, he really got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Crash Bandicoot would be a great choice, like he's like, he's kind of a, He's really one of the few real true icons that hasn't yet been added to the roster, and I think he would be a great pick with a great potential to set. Absolutely. Uh, so while we're on the topic, there's there's still five characters that still have to be added to the roster. Wh who would like your top five characters be if you had a pick? I would definitely have to be. Dino is definitely my number one. Um, I played the game when I was a kid years ago, and I've always thought he would be really good. Um, also, I think um, Dick, I've really been thinking about Dixie Kong a lot recently with Donkey Kong 2 coming out, and I, I think she's kind of like, out of like Nintendo reps, I think she might be the most deserving in it. Um, then we have a few others like Crash Bandicoot. Um, let's see, I also want Waluigi too. I mean, I really think uh, he just got that great personality, and as far as one more, um, I'm going to go with Rayman. So those are kind of like all my picks, and they're pretty much all for my generation, I guess. <laughs> but those, are, those are some pretty solid picks, I gotta say. Um, as for myself, I think my top five picks would be Paper Mario. Uh, Gino's up there as well. I'd have to say Conker is definitely one of my top five. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, Conker has... Conker definitely has great potential, if they can figure out a way to incorporate him, because... Because, uh, of course, um, he has that, that gimmick during the game, which is called context-sensitive uh, buttons, yes. you know? And, like, you think, about, you think about applying that in a Smash game, and you have, like, something that could be really cool. It would be excellent. I thought, like, a cool thing they could do is, like, have him, like, make 90s references to each and every character when he uh, has oh. his windscreen. So, like, how Fox and Falco have, like, their own special windscreen, oh. Contra could have one for every character. That's, that's a really good idea, actually. So, like, if he I beats think... Rob, he could say something along the lines like, uh, you've been terminated, <laughs> which I think would be really <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be, that would be a great 
Oh, you have to bring Chris. I'm just thinking of, I was just thinking recently how we had that, that plushie come out for Conqueror. Yes, as well. I was thinking that too. He's gaining some notoriety uh, again. I, would, I think exactly. So, I, if, of course, he was in Smash, then we have. Then we have a. We would, of course, bring Chris Sierra back, and that would be pretty awesome. Have some new lines there. Uh, another question I have for you, Drew, is, uh, out of all the characters that you've mentioned for your wish list, who would you think is the most likely to be added to Smash? Uh, most likely? I mean, like, a lot of people dismiss his chances, you know, a lot of the naysayers, but I think Gino is like, I, I really do. He's both my most wanted, I think he's fairly likely probably because... Smash Ultimate has kind of felt like a leftover checklist of like these are the these are the characters that the fans have wanted the most, Absolutely. and I kind of feel like Gino is kind of one of the last holdovers for that. Yeah, I could totally see that. I think another great thing that they could do is with the release of Gino, they could probably add uh, Super Mario RPG to the SNES collection for online players. Yeah, of course they would, and, and even more so if like if they have, I think it would be there have been room. I think we lost him. Ah! I think we lost him. Technical difficulties, folks. Can you hear me now, Mr. Krabs? I can hear you. Okay, good. We lost you there for a second. Well, he's, he's good with the Terry, too, there. Oh, yeah, I figured I, I switched up a little bit. You were talking about characters that that are likely. Um, and I think I don't know. I think Crash is also one that's pretty likely too, especially when like we have everything lining up with the new game and the new design. And I think that that's pretty likely too. Absolutely. Um, what else? Uh, you know what I think with my suggestions. I think Paper Mario has a good chance. Only because of the 35th anniversary thing that's going on. They're making a big deal out of that. That's true, as well. I guess, though, I kind of... I kind of thought his chance to, like, kind of be that... Kind of come back was with Origami King. Mm -hmm. But, like, when I see Origami King, you know, I... Even, it's still a great game and stuff, but it's kind of not the Paper Mario people are looking for with coming to Smash a little bit. Only yeah. because, like, when I think of Paper Mario, I think of all the allies and things like that. Mm -hmm. But Paper Mario, I mean, I'm not discounting his chances by any means. I mean, he still could, he still could put him in and still do, like, do something really classical and such. But Yeah, I think if they implemented both the new and old Paper Mario, it would be a really great callback for fans. Oh yeah, it would be. But, uh, aside from Paper Mario and Crash, how do you feel about, uh, Travis Touchdown, if he does happen to be the, the choice? Well, I, I have no personal attachment to the character myself, but, Neither like, do it I. seems like they're... But uh, it seems that, that, uh, that, that his creator and Sakurai have a close relationship, and, mm -hmm. uh, and they've had the he's kind of mentioned before the idea that he would like it to happen, and then he had that no comment thing recently. So right. that's, that's definitely a possibility. I mean, maybe not for the, I don't think if he was coming to become the fighter seven, but but it would it definitely I think it very well could be in the pipeline there. Absolutely. I mean, we have we we have that uh, M theory that was talked about by Papa Gino. Did you see that one? No, I haven't actually. Well, he, he basically figured out that because they had that thing where um, they had things like uh, emberated characters like a Vault Boy or um, some other meat costume that came and like they it said that they're oh yeah they had Altair from from uh, from you from uh, Assassin's Creed mm -hmm. and they, had, they didn't have the Assassin's Creed though but they had the character and mm -hmm. Papa basically figured out that the reason they may be doing that is because the ratings for the ESRB is making this even in the, like the the presentations and trailers if you if you put the logo in you have to make the, the presentation m-rated ah, um, so they, 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 that's why they toned it down so from that 
he kind of pieced together that because of updates to images they put into like the fighter's pass that there is going to be at least one m-rated character in the fighter's pass and it's actually a pretty solid theory there hmm okay so you learn something but, new yeah, every I'd, re day. I'd, re I'd recommend you check it out it's a really good one all right if i find it which uh or you could send me the link and i will post the link to that in the description of the video as well oh yeah no, I, I could do that for sure To have. We might not have room for it. I don't know if you can hear me now. No, oh, I can hear you. Hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. It's like the Verizon commercial. For <laughs> the Verizon? They have, like, they have ads in the voice chat, or what's going on? Or... No, I was saying that it's like the Verizon commercial. You know, can you hear me now? <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Oh, almost got it. Oh, okay. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Wonder we can power us through anything. <laughs> yeah. Wonder Almost Woman's great. Do you have any ideas as to, like, when the Smash character would be announced or released? Um, well, it seems to me that... Um, I think they'll announce it sometime next week in a Sakurai Presents style. I think that will be... Oh, I think it'll be pre-announced. Pretty, pretty sure about that. Okay. But, but yeah, I think it would probably. I mean, if I'm going to guess a day, I mean, it's, I'd say just any day next week. They'll do the presentation, and then the character itself would be released sometime the next week after that. Hmm. Probably how it works. The speculation oh, yeah. is that it's going to be the first week of October. I think that's pretty likely. I think that's fair to say. Only because if you look at the other DLC like schedule, if they release a character every four months between now and 2021 when Fighter Pass 2 is supposed to be finished, they have to they have to have more than one character announced and released within a four month span. Otherwise they won't meet the deadline. Which is still a possibility that they might not reach it with everything going on in the world. You know, it, it's, it is possible. I mean they definitely have been delays. I think it's going to be soon. I mean, like, I had one, I just saw one Twitter post the other day kind of seeing it such as that we could, that maybe, that maybe we could see two and one. I kind of, I'm mm -hmm. not sure what to think of that, if they they would do that in a presentation, but. I don't know if they would do like, in one presentation. I don't well, think they would. I mean. I don't think they would either, but. But yeah. it's like, you, you're right about the timeline where it's like they had, they said that they were scheduled to, um go ahead and get it done by the end of 2021 and obviously uh, things happen and maybe maybe even that deadline is behind but I don't know maybe they have something something speedy planned yeah I mean it's not impossible because we did get Banjo and Hero announced the same day we did but they weren't released the same day and I think with the whole no, they weren't. right and the whole release thing I think is the the main point here But thanks for uh. Um. All right. Well, I think we could play a couple more rounds. I'm actually done asking you questions, so I'm gonna end the the recording here. But we can still uh smash and talk about other things aside from the Smash DLC if you'd like. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, like uh, um, I know. I just uh, it's, I'm not sure. Not sure what this. Is. I'm glad we played play, and it's a lot of fun. Alright. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to end the recording. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first ever episode of Smash and Talk. I want to thank Drew, the 90s guy, for joining me here today. We're going to keep playing a little bit, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. For I don't know who I'll have next on the, on the podcast, but I hope you enjoyed the first ever episode of Smash and Talk. So, Drew, if you want to say your goodbyes now. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, talk to you guys all later. Um, this is Drew, the guy just got to head now. Right. And we are going to put Drew's channel in the description so you guys can check him out. He does. I know right now you're doing uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. It's a great yeah, series. I've been watching it myself. 
and I know... Yeah, that's one of my favorite games uh, of all time. I've been playing through that one, just speaking to uh, Crocodile Cauldron. Um, it's an amazing game, and I'm glad they finally released it for the Switch. So come check out my channel, and uh, stop on by. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace!